Today, we will be creating magazine bowls. Materials can be reused, recycled, and conserved to create works of art. This project is for middle school students. Students will be able to create a bowl from recycled magazine paper. Why throw magazines away when you can turn them into something beautiful? This lesson will take about one to two class periods. Let's turn our trash into treasure. What materials will we need? We're going to need magazines, clear scotch tape, Mod Podge, matte or glossy, a paintbrush, a piece of wax paper. Optional items include embellishments, paint, and a ruler. Let's talk about where we can find magazines without having to go to the store. Have students bring in old magazines from home that their family is no longer reading. Each student will use only about a quarter of a magazine, so not many are needed, but it is good to have a class collection. Start by ripping the cover of your magazine off. You won't need the cover for this project, but you can use it for another project, so set it aside. And then, you're going to rip the first page of your magazine off. Now, decide which side of the paper that you want to use. I tend to like to use the more colorful sides, so I'm going to put the colorful side face down on the table. This way, the colors will show up when I fold my paper. Now, I'm going to fold the corner up of my paper about one centimeter. I'm going to continue to fold my paper up using that corner as a gauge for size. Fold up your paper tight and evenly, making sure that both sides of the strip of your paper are around one centimeter at all times. It doesn't have to be exact. When you finish folding your first sheet of paper, then you're going to tape down the loose corner with some scotch tape. Make sure you do this nice and tightly so that no edges of scotch tape are sticking off. Now, you are going to roll this strip of paper nice and tight. Just keep rolling, just keep rolling. Lightly tape the end of your paper strip to the swirl. This must be done lightly or when you go to lift the tape, the paper will rip. You can either repeat the paper folding step multiple times like I did here, or you can fold as you go. Whatever works best for you. Hold your swirl firmly and gently lift your piece of tape. Now you can connect another paper strip to the swirl using the piece of tape to adhere them. Now that you have your two strips connected, you can continue to tightly wrap the paper around your swirl. And once again, lightly tape down the end of the strip to the paper. Go ahead and repeat these steps. Remember, tightly and lightly. Tightly wrap the paper and lightly tape the end down. As you are wrapping your paper, you may or may not encounter a problem like this. Wah, wah. What do you do? You engage and persist. It's easy to get frustrated when something goes wrong, but this is an easy fix. Don't give up. Rewrap your swirl and continue on with the lesson. Finishing a project is a very rewarding feeling. Think of the final product. How big would you like your bowl to be? Let's take a look at some of the bowls I've already created. This colorful bowl is about three and a half inches in diameter. This larger bowl is about four and a half inches in diameter. I think I'll make this bowl I'm working on here somewhere in between the sizes of the two. To make our swirl larger, we have to continue to wrap the pieces of paper like we did before around the swirl. Now, imagine the base of your bowl. You want to leave about one inch from the center of your swirl out, flat on the table. 
From there, you can use your fingers to gently pull up the sides of your swirl to create the walls of your bowl. This is a very simple process, but problems can still be encountered. If you pull the walls of your bowl up too fast, the swirl can unwind again, and it is not as easy to fix once you have your entire swirl taped together. So remember to complete this process very gently. You can turn your bowl over and gently push on the circumference of your base so that the rim of your bowl becomes level. And there you have it. This is what your bowl will look like, but we aren't finished yet. Now you're going to need that sheet of wax paper. We're going to finish our piece with Mod Podge. You can choose a matte finish or a glossy finish. That's entirely up to you. I'm going to choose the glossy Mod Podge. I'm going to put a little bit of Mod Podge right on my wax paper. I'll grab my paintbrush and start to paint the glue on. I like to paint the inside of the bowl first. This way, I can turn the bowl over, paint the outside, and then let it dry for about 20 minutes. Once it looks dry, I can peel it off the paper, and ta-da! This was the last step of your bowl building process, but you might want to develop your bowl further. So let's talk about developing craft. Now that you know how to make a magazine bowl, you can decide if you want to make more or if you'd like to personalize the one that you just created. You can incorporate artistry into your work by adding personal touches. This is a form of expression. Let's take a look at some of the bowls that I expanded on. This is the bowl that I created with you. I painted the inside black. I love how the light catches the texture of the wrapped magazine paper. Here is a very small bowl that I created. I glued some gold sequin string around the rim of my bowl to give it a little sparkle. I created a lid for this bowl. This is created the exact same way that a bowl would be, but you aren't going to leave those few inches flat for a base. You'll pull the walls of the swirl almost all the way out to form this cone shape. This is a slightly larger bowl that I made. I used the matte finish on this one. The matte is not shiny, so it almost appears as if the bowl is in the same state that it was after the wrapping process. A lot of times we have items and materials, like magazines in our homes, that we are not using anymore. Take a moment before throwing something away to think, can I create something beautiful from this? If the answer is yes, then go for it. Not only are we recycling when we create magazine bowls, but we were also repurposing magazines. This project helps to reduce the amount of waste we create every day. I hope you feel inspired to create something today, and remember there are plenty of items you can repurpose. Artists recycle and reuse items to create works of art.